All right, welcome to March 2018 on Spray Paint Art Secrets. We're going to start off this month's video lessons with a meadow with a stream rushing through it with some birch trees around it. It's kind of a fun painting. And there's some beautiful stuff in the background that we made very quickly using some sponges and newspaper. And then as we add the foreground, we're going to add some more colors. And we're using things that you might find at your hardware store. I did uh, do a, a paintbrush to make those trees. It's just a very easy way of doing them, but it is possible to make them with folded paper if you really don't like using paintbrushes. And the fun part is making that stream rushing through the meadow. Then we're going to move on and we're going to do sort of a, a, a galactic improvisation with some mushrooms, <laughs> maybe, out there in space. I like the spiral galaxy and I like working on the spiral galaxies. I like using wet white paint to make beautiful ghostly effects in space and then accenting them with very delicate sprays of white. And I'm going to show you how that's done and how you can do it too. Of course, the results that you get will depend on the paint that you use. If you're using water-based paint, you can do this with water. It will come out different. The paint will move differently depending upon the materials that you're using. So there's some other uh, materials that you might use with water-based paint that you might learn about from uh, airbrushpaintingsecrets.com, which is a website that shows how to do all of these techniques with your airbrush. But some of the other brands, you might work with Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear. If you can find Bright Beauty, which is an acrylic enamel spray paint, that might be useful for making these galactic effects. And then we're going to move on and we're going to do a finger painted sunset sky. And I think making a, a bright sky with a silhouette in the front is, is just a quick, nice way of making an interesting painting. I think it's really fun to improvise these bright, beautiful skies. And if you put a lot of color in the foreground, you tend to lose the focus on sort of the beauty of the sky. So I made sort of just silhouettes in the foreground, and it's really fun to improvise, you know, whatever's in the foreground, pine trees, or, or maybe your foreground is closer, maybe it's some mushrooms, I don't know. But it, you can just really use that, uh, those silhouettes to, to really bring out the beauty of the finger-painted sky. So we can really focus in on how to use our fingers to create that sunset. And then we're going to move on and we're going to do some more cosmic art. And here's a lot of fun effects, again, using wet white paint. I'm using Comex brand, and that works really, really well for these very wet sort of galactic effects. And once, once you've let that background dry and you've created all these amazing effects by moving the paint around, the very wet paint around, you can add these, these um, very delicate effects created with by spraying up against a piece of poster board very lightly with your white and adding very light layered dusting of transparent color. In this case, fluorescent colors are often transparent. And we're going to finish up with a tropical ocean scene again with one of those finger painted skies like I showed you in the previous painting. But we're going to add in some waves and some water splashing up against the rocks. So if you're curious about learning spray paint art, go to spraypaintartsecrets.com and sign up for your free lesson. If you have any questions, my name is Elisa Amour and my email is spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. Feel free to email with your spray paint art questions. See you inside. Ciao.